e kāpiki ana tātou i te takere o te moana e ko te moana i rakau. Ko ke te tātou i te naroto mai i tō tātou wauatua, e noo ana ki reira, ko te turuturu mai ana i tō tātou oraanga me muatanga ana mai. Tērā, ko raro, e atua ai ai raro i te moana, e me aere te o rawakai ki te moana, e peera e tā rātou ki aia, ki aka ari o atu i teika, ki a ngō i e ua i te kai atu i te maono. Tini rau, e tamaiti teia nga tangaroa, e noo ana ki motu tapu koe oki i runga i te tau o te moana. Ko te atua teia o te au ika e tara tō rātou, me i te mango e tai roa atu ki te au ika tara rekeriki roa atu. Ko raka, te atua teia o te matangi, e kete tāna, e irato i teia kete, te ngā i i uuna e aia i te au matangi. Ko tāna ānau, ko te au tū matangi roa rae, ko i oki te iriroana e manamana tā nō te tangata. E ko te mea openga, ko te taua tikai o te moana koia, a wari mā te takere. Ko karanga ia e, ko ia te akamata anga tika, ko i oki. Me i aia mai, tupu mai e te au rākau, ko i oki, te au atua mua, te ānau, Tuārangi, e mei roto mai i te i au atua, puta mai e i te tangata. I te ta i au ngā i kē atu i roto i tō tātou moana, ko papa teia, me kore, ko whakahotu. Atua, uh, commonly they are translated as gods in English, but I believe this is misleading. I think Atua were devised by our tūpuna to be able to relate to their environment, to be able to personify the elements and the landforms, giving a face or a name to each of these important natural events. We should be seeing them as living places. They're not just commodities. You know, they're not just places that we should go and take for money and take for dollars. It has to be more than that. You know, these things need to be able to revitalise and to rejuvenate and to making sure that you take care of it. The Modi, you know, the life force of, of the place. If the Modi of the ocean is good, then we are good. Everything is connected. We see mining as a, a threat to our uh, existence as indigenous people of this place. All of these changes that we are already seeing uh, as we become uh, modernized, uh, westernized, we are uh, losing who we are as a indigenous people because what we are experiencing now with the disconnect because of colonial changes um, over, over decades uh, we are seeing um, all of these things around us, our environment, our culture, our language, uh, deteriorating. If we continue uh, in this direction, we will cease to exist uh, as an indigenous people. One of the most important things for us to remind ourselves as Tangata Whenua, uh is that and to remind the world is that Indigenous people are scientists. We are natural scientists, we are natural conservationists, we are natural environmentalists. And within our very DNA are all the survival um, lessons um, passed down on how we should preserve our ocean, our planet, our people. I believe we're rushing now to get these resources which are within our waters. It's all a response to climate change, but it's a very rushed and uh, panicked approach. I believe that our ocean is under immense pressure because of climate change, uh, because of the rising of temperature, because of the uh, changing and altering of the ecosystems through the pressure of fishing, commercial fishing, which has already been happening in our waters for a long time. Companies come into the Pacific, they come here to take, it's about it's extractive industries. They're only thinking about the money. They're not thinking about you. They're not thinking about our communities. They're not thinking about the environment. What they're thinking about is money. 
We shouldn't do that. We should think about those connections, the connections that we have to these places and the importance of making sure that these places uh, thrive and survive because our connection about in terms of who we are as Pacifica peoples, as indigenous peoples of the Pacific are deeply linked uh, to these places and to the moana. We should not be repeating the same mistakes and that's what I see is happening with deep sea mining. It will affect our climate, our planet in a way that will never be repairable. So there's only one um, thing we should be doing now which is to call on the world to ban seabed mining once and for all. We currently have these metals already within circulation around the world um, and a lot of it is just going to waste. Um, so why not look at how we can keep recycling these metals instead of going into mining up new metals. It just has this wasteful culture that society around the world is getting into and it's not doing our world any good whatsoever. You know, we can't EV our way out of this situation. Having purely focusing on the profit margins of these extractive industries, they want to move from fossil fuel engines to EV engines, and, but actually you need to think about wider things. We need to be talking about uh, public and active transport and having that properly planned and making sure that we have better designed cities so you don't actually need a car. It's a matter of being creative and coming up with alternative methods for how to live our lives and with deep sea mining you're going to be incorporating big machinery, it's a lot of money, but a lot of the resources that come from deep sea mining they only last so long and then it ends up in our landfill. We need to be mining the landfill as well because there's people are just throwing things away which we could be using for example to put in electric vehicles instead of destroying uh, the marine environment. Technology is constantly evolving as well, and it's evolving to a point maybe where we won't have to rely on these metals found in the deep sea. So if more time is put into that better innovation, those are the solutions that are available to us today. The deep sea is such an important place for our Cook Islands Māori people. Uh, I believe the presence of the Atua on the deep sea shows us that this area was tapu to our ancestors. It's well known in Polynesia that the peaks of mountains were considered tapu places. They were very hard to visit, obviously because of their isolation, but also they were considered to be places where the Atua resided. So likewise with the deep sea, this is a place where Atua were known to reside and that just enhanced the tapu of these very remote and inaccessible areas. Te humu mo atu nei te ta iho tātou i te tūranga ora anga o te ta i kē tākiri te inua mamao. Ko api e ko aka nauru i a rātou ki a urike me te mārama o tō tātou uitupuna nō runga i te takere o te moana. I te iho tātou te aere mai nei tō te mamao i te waru e te kokoti i te pākiri o wari mā te takere. Ea a rā tā tie ka akatupu ki tō tātou mitu o waini kāpu anga, ko ia di turuturu mai ana i tō tātou orang. Ka akapē e a raka i te tāiri anga i te au o te moana, tō roto e tō te mārewa i runga ke i te kiri ātai. Ka akapē e te ānau a tini rau i te uti anga i te rewa meitaki me ki a raro i te o onu o te moana i te pue u o te wari. Ka akapē e oki araro i te tauturo anga mai i te o rawakai. Ka pōpinga e nei tātou, te o toketoke enua me te ia aroa. We need to do the research because we don't have the security or firm understanding of the ecological impacts. But what we do have the understanding of is how it affects Pacific people. And at a time of Pacific-wide cultural revitalization, then perhaps we need to recheck ourselves. We're trying to fix a problem by extracting that was caused by extracting. Sustainability today is, is dead. It's no longer enough. Revitalization, rehabilitation is what we need now. By recognizing that this ocean doesn't have her own voice, then 
perhaps we could consider giving her one through our own cultural lens and also legally enforced. So what are we doing about it? What are you doing about it?